Hey Webflowers, I'm James from Outsana. Today I'm going to show you how to use our Webflow app to install Outsana's authentication tools on your Webflow site. This will allow your users to sign up, pay for a subscription, log in, see their account settings, change a plan, cancel a plan, log out, etc. All the features that you would expect on a SaaS or membership website. And we're going to do this all from within the designer. Let's get started. So here we are in Webflow. We've already got the Outsetta app open. Just as a quick reminder, make sure you add the required head script. Um, this is going to make all of the functionality work. So we're going to go to the embed signup login or profile tab here. And for this demo, we're going to add both pop-ups and on-page embeds. You probably wouldn't normally do that, but I'm just going to show how they both are added to a page. So sign up button, we're going to do this as a pop-up. We're going to choose a plan and we're going to choose the basic plan. And then for plan options, we're going to skip. That basically just makes the sign up experience a little more streamlined for simpler plans with no um, options. So we're going to add to element. And then for login, we're going to go to the login tab and we're just going to say as a pop up and add to element. And now for our on page embeds, we're going to choose on a page. We're going to choose a plan, the basic plan, and skip options. And you'll see that we actually add this div to the page. Um, it has all of the required attributes assigned to it, but the actual div itself is just a placeholder um, and will be replaced with the actual signup embed. Let's do this for login on a page. And there we go. So we've got our signup and login embeds all set. Now we're going to go to our logged in user page and we're going to set up some things there. So we're going to set up the profile and also the login link, sorry, the logout link. So for profile, I'm gonna go over to the profile tab as a pop-up since this is a button. Um, you can choose the default view that gets opened when our the profile embed is opened. Um, but for now, we're just gonna choose profile, which is the default at element. And then for logout, we're going to add a logout redirect. So this is when someone logs out, this, the redirect is just where they're sent to um, after that logout occurs. So I've already got a page set up and that's gonna be slash logout. You can use a full, uh, full domain or URL. Um, you can also just use a slash um, if it's gonna remain on the same site. So add this to the element. And then we're gonna add our profile embed on the page as well. So it's gonna be on a page, keep the default view profile, and there we go. So we've set up everything in Webflow, and now we're just gonna publish and test things out. So here we are in our published page. You can see now that we have the signup and login embeds displaying on the page, and we also have them as pop-ups. So I'm going to use our login embed to sign into an account that I've already created. And once we log in, we're redirected to that logged in user page. Uh, this is a setting in Outsetta under the sign up and login settings. You can set up a post login redirect. So we can see that we have the profile embed displaying here. Um, you, the user can change any of their information in their profile, their account. Um, they can change their plan. They can cancel their subscription, all of that. And then we have identical functionality in our pop-up profile. And then we've got our logout link. And if we click that, then you'll see that we are redirected to that slash logout page that we had configured in Webflow. That's it. You can see that it's really easy now to integrate Outsetta's authentication features on your site using our Webflow app. We have more videos that go through each of the features of the Webflow app, so look for videos on 
protecting content, displaying user data, mapping Webflow forms throughout Zeta CRM, and more. If you have questions, reach out to us at support at outseta.com. See you next time.